friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm recreating Pinterest outfits and we're gonna be doing colorful spring outfits, I might add, because we love dopamine dressing here on this channel. <laughs> At least I've really been getting into it. I filmed this video a few weeks ago and you guys loved it and asked for a part two. So today's gonna be part two. As usual, we're gonna be recreating the vibe of the outfit and not always copying the exact look using the pieces that we have in our closet. But if you are new here, my name's Teshna. I upload weekly videos like these and all about fashion, styling, rewearing, things in your wardrobe, caps or wardrobe, the whole lot. So if you find the video interesting, inspiring or helpful in any way, comment below, subscribe to my channel to stick around. And yeah, let's just jump into the outfits. All right, so let's get into the first look, which is this one right here. Got my phone here to look at the outfits. There's two outfits here. Both of them are actually stunning, but I'm gonna be recreating the one with the purple pants. So I think the one to my right. And yeah, it's actually a really simple look when you think about it. It's just trousers, t-shirt and some trainers, but they've added like a third layer with like a, a I think a shoulder, like a cardigan to kind of throw over the shoulders. And obviously um, the picture beside her has a coat and they've added like accessories to kind of jazz things up. So um, I think I have like one colorful pants that I've taken out of my summer wardrobe because girl, <laughs> I don't have colorful like, you know, pants and stuff. So yeah, let's just see what we can actually recreate from this look. So let me just go ahead and go find something to recreate this outfit. <laughs> All right, girl, let's get into this look. First off, I feel like I'm on holiday, so let me just take my sunglasses off. I generally feel like I'm on holiday. <laughs> All right, so my take on this look, I've got a graphic tee. I've featured this in my video before. I actually stole it from my mom. Mm. Thank you, mom. And I'm wearing these orange trousers that I got from Shein. And I tend, I don't actually buy from Shein anymore, but the things that I have, I will rewear until they die. And I must say there have been one or two finds from Shein that I can't even like knock. These trousers are really nice fitting. I must say they fit really nicely. And I've layered this green jumper over that I got from Marks and Spencer. And as for footwear, I've added some pink, um, they're kind of like knockoffs of the Converse. They're not real Converse. I bought these from Primark last year and I wanted to kind of just dip my feet in. I was really trying to get more color last year. So I bought these to see if I would like them and if I do, I'll buy the real version. Anyways, I feel like the pink goes really nicely because it ties in with the pink in like the shirt here. And as for bag, I kind of struggled with bag a bit. I actually found this green bag, where is it? Um, this what, what color is this is like almost like a teal so it's still in the green family but i feel like it looks okay with the whole ensemble it's not bad so i've had it with yeah i kept my pink earrings on it was actually predominantly because of laziness but um yeah i could have swapped it out for some gold but i think it looks okay with a look to be honest it's very colorful and as for accessory again i've added my sunglasses that i thrifted in france definitely one of my best purchases this year i'm not even gonna lie um so yeah this is the entire look i really like how this came out i feel like it's really comfy really easy and i feel like i did a a decent job you know recreating this look next look and i really like this one right here is absolutely stunning i love it. it looks so chic and effortless she's wearing a red um like a-line midi skirt and t-shirt graphic tee with like a bomber jacket and some Stan Smith Adidas trainers and leopard print bag for a pop. I just love all the sort of juxtaposition going on here with the textures and the different colors. The kind of mix of smart with casual. Yeah, I love it. So let's see what I can find to recreate this look. Let's go. Kept the same t-shirt and added a bomber jacket. Love it, I love the khaki color. Now, this skirt is one I thrifted and I wasn't sure if I should actually put it away because it's very much autumnal winter color. But I wanted to actually get the most out of this, really mixing like summery pieces with like 
sort of darker hues and this is the closest I had to red anyways but it had like a similar cut and length I think her one's slightly longer and now for trainers guys <laughs> I recently purchased these pair of white trainers in TK Maxx I'm actually wearing them to take off these are white trainers yeah they're actually from L Sport but I was just looking for some white trainers and they actually really look like the Stan Summit ones which I said I would never get but they I haven't really worn them but they feel so comfortable for bag wise I didn't have any leopard print bags so I just kept my plain cream bag um, to kind of tie in everything together especially with the top with it being like a white ties it in and the trainers and obviously I've added my vintage heart shaped sunglasses I just feel like they're such a cool pair of sunglasses anyways but yeah uh, that's my recreation and I just I really feel good in this look but of course I would love to know what you think all right girl let's talk about this look okay so let me get it off on my phone so she's wearing a jumper jeans t-shirt peeking through and some loafers with a pop of red with the socks and then obviously a little scarf her scarf is neutral and i just love the whole look it's a very very simple look but it just adds those pops and those elements of personal style with a different um different kind of little textures going on especially with the scarf and the socks and the the loafers stunning absolutely love it don't really have what she has so i'm wearing my bright fuchsia pink top jumper that i thrifted not thrifted I actually bought this in sainsbury's fashion it featured in my previous haul and i do have a t-shirt laid underneath but it's the wrong one it's more like a vest i could not find my white t-shirt for the life of me i don't know where they are so let's just pretend like it's a t-shirt you know scarf wise i've got this printed scarf that i absolutely freaking love it's from mango i got it last year but i love adding this especially when spring and summer come out like best believe this is going to be adding a pop of color to my look and yeah like i said mango does some really nice accessories in my opinion i've kind of just added a ring here i feel like when you add a ring to these scarves it ties it really nicely it's something i didn't try before i'm like why don't i use a ring as for jeans, I didn't have the wide leg cuff jeans that she's wearing, girl. I had wide leg jeans that I've been wearing over and over again, but I put some weight on. It can't fit me anymore. So I had to just say, you know what, charity or vintage, here you go. I'm actually putting it up on my vintage store. Um, I'll leave the link if anybody is interested. Now, footwear wise, girl, I ain't got no loafers. Like the loafers she's wearing, I'm like, I'm on the hunt for some loafers. I've only got one pair and that's my black pair, but they just didn't go with this, the vibe of this look. So instead I went with boots. So I actually thrifted these boots recently. They're like burgundy, dark brown, um, in that color family there. It's actually my first pair of boots that I've thrifted. Normally I actually um, buy boots brand new, but got this second hand I think mm, I, I like the lace up detail I feel like this is more my vibe anyway so technically this whole outfit is more my stamp on it and it's realistically what I would wear out so this is obviously my recreation as usual I would love to know what you think below let's talk about this next look before I even get changed now this outfit is gonna be quite ambitious of me let's just leave it here she's wearing a dungaree i'm actually a huge fan of dungaree i know not a lot of people like them but i love them her one's like a lovely gray color she's got like a chunky green um cardigan on top with the matching like i think those are added as sambas again or colorful trainers and red obviously which is up you know goes really nicely with green red bag she even even a phone case is red and obviously a hat as well like i feel like there's a lot going on here in terms of like colors textures patterns um yeah there's a whole mishmash happening this one photo i i don't actually have a lot of the things that she's wearing but i just love this outfit and it's just inspiring me to do something. So let's just get up and find what we have to recreate this look. Let's go. Got my overalls, dungaree overalls kind of thing. These ones are like the pleather leather ones that I purchased, I think from Oxford Circus a couple years back. And I'm just happy to be bringing them out again because I've I did put them away for a little while because I was like, mm, not feeling at the moment, but I'm feeling them again. Paired it with my white tank top from Uniqlo, the one with the built-in bra. 
As for like the chunky green cardigan, girl, you know I ain't got no chunky green cardigan. So I actually recently got this um, knitted cardigan sent from a company called Hiccup. Um, this is not sponsored. It's just um, this is the item that I chose. So this was gifted. And I just really like the strawberries. Like I just thought it was really cool and really quirky. So I paired it with my New Balance pink um, trainers. This one I've had for years as well, but it's been elsewhere. <laughs> and basically when I look at the photo, she's just kind of matching her cardigan to her shoes and matching her hat to her bag. So a whole bunch of matchy matchy. So that's exactly what I'm doing. So yeah, so I think this kind of ties in with the um, trainers and the hat ties in with my Uniqlo bag. You all know I got this hat from TK Maxx and obviously my crossbody bag from Uniqlo, which I've just kind of paired on my side. I don't really know if I needed a hat with this this whole look, to be honest, but she's wearing a hat. So I was like, okay, let's just let's just kind of go with the vibe. But I don't really necessarily if I, if I would wear it with the hat i don't know there's a few things i'll probably change if i was to wear this out but i just like the idea of like pairing it with something i probably wouldn't have thought of this is an outfit that i probably never would have thought of by myself to be fair so yeah this is like my vibe my take on it um yeah i i do find it really comfortable and really cozy so let me know what you think. So let me tell you which look we're gonna go into next. Right, so let's move into the next look, which is this one right here. Um, Very, very simple, but I like simple sometimes. It's just better. She's got a red, bright red cardigan and she's wearing a slip, like not a slip, a midi skirt, it seems. Um, Like a very floral pattern midi skirt. It just seems very spring and very much on trend, especially with the red. Um, I don't have a red cardigan like that, but I think I can remake something similar. So let's go ahead and see what we have in our closet. <laughs> Let's get into this look. Like I said, I didn't have the red cardigan she's wearing. So instead I do have this purple cardigan. Yeah, I can tell that I'm really been getting into my purple these days, especially with these nail colors. Um, didn't realize that how much I actually love this. This is my second time getting these. I think I'm gonna get it again. Anyways, it's not about my nails. Purple cardigan from Sainsbury's Fashion featured in my last previous haul. And then I paired it with this multicolored skirt that I actually got from Primark a year ago. And this is when I was really getting into my color that I purchased this. But this year, it feels like I can really get the most out of it. When I purchased it last year, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, how the hell am I gonna wear this apart from holidays? I was wrong, I was wrong. So this just complements each other really nicely because really the look that she's wearing is just a cardigan and a sort of midi skirt like a pattern midi skirt so anything will go i added this necklace because i wanted to experiment on different types of jewelry yeah and then just some avia sunglasses she's not wearing any but obviously i'm doing my own take on it oh as for my bag i had this bag you know this is the bag that folds up you know it folds up and you can bring it for holiday i've had this for probably like maybe eight years or so. Look how new it is. I've never worn it ever, hardly. So I was, I did a huge declutter, which I really wanted to film. And I was like, you know what? It's either I wear it this year or it has to go. So I'm actually experimenting to see. The colors don't go precisely with this, but I feel like it's still within the same color family wheel, especially with the brown buttons can really tie in with like the, you know, the brown here. But um, I wanted to get the most out of this bag because I haven't worn it. So I'm finding any excuse to really just wear it. <laughs> so this is my take on this look right here. And I feel very happy. I just like how colors, you know, they just really uplift you and make you feel good. So if you're not wearing enough colors in your wardrobe, girl, now is the time to add some colors. So hopefully this look inspires you to try, try something, you know, try it. So yeah, let's jump into the next outfit. Next outfit, still keeping it very, very simple, but I actually just love this outfit. It just looks so comfy and casual, which is right up my street. 
pink dress and denim overshirt with like these little pink heart shape um is it hot i don't think it's hot but it's just a little yeah it is it's, little, it's so cute or spades i don't know but it's a denim shirt with this little pink detail in and then she's got like a checkered uh, print bag i uh, just added that pops up personality with some um some lace-up boots i was gonna say dot mines but these are just regular lace-up boots um yeah it's just such a fun and really relaxed look so I don't necessarily, I don't think I have a pink dress like this. So let's go ahead and see what we can actually recreate. All right, so let's talk about this look. Let me just take these sunglasses off because I'll be forever thinking I'm on holiday. Girl, <laughs> I don't know if I went completely far off or I was, I was just inspired by this look and like i said i didn't have the pink dress so i have this brown dress that i got from h&m years ago and i just never thought of like layering the way I, that, that i am now i'm just like i've come a long way anyways <laughs> you can see that i've layered two shirts here it's my first time trying this i wanted to try something new girl i wanted to try and dress up and just kind of see what works experiment a bit I love like the blue and the pink so this is kind of my way of like I haven't got the blue and the pink together so let me just try and layer them up to kind of get that same that same like combo and obviously the brown and pink goes beautifully together I just feel like they work really well this striped dress I've always kept it because I just loved it it's easy easy going um but I've always worn it on its own I don't know why I've never thought of like adding something else to it even if it's not this it is a stripe pattern with some like gold detailing going down but um and obviously the shirt is from the men's section from h&m because i wanted that oversized feel and i like sometimes how they do the men's a lot more now i probably could have paired the denim jacket along with the um or oh, it's not a denim, it's denim shirt along with the dress but you know it didn't give me that same interest the same vibe so yeah this is my take on it I've gone with the same um, boots that I thrifted recently and I don't know, I just love how it looks. This is something I'll definitely be wearing out because I I feel so comfortable in it. So this is more like me doing my own spin on this look. So more creating the vibe. But yeah, the lace up boots, I feel like they look really nice and um, in my opinion that is. And I added my red bag with like the pattern detailing because she had like checkered prints so i was like okay what prints do i have and obviously you know reds and pink go together i do have a lot of pink pink is my favorite color so i feel like this video is becoming very pink but <laughs> these are like outfits that i gravitate towards but yeah i feel like the everything ties in together uh, so next one is a simple boiler suit and you know i've been dying to style my boiler suit so like this popped up and I loved it. She's got like a beret, gla green glasses, and she's got like layered her boiler suit with like a, almost like an orange knit um, underneath. And then she's got like vans, like really, really colorful vans with these green socks. Um, yeah, it's a really simple casual look, but she just added lots of like colors and styling and accessories just to kind of finish off the entire, or, you know, harmonize everything. So I don't have a few things she's wearing, but I definitely do have a boiler suit, which I want to style up. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that now. All right, girl, let's get into this look. Like I said, I already have a boiler suit because I've been dying to wear it from Too Fashion, which is the Sainsbury's line and yeah i just love how it fits it's so comfortable so cute so instead of a turtleneck that she's wearing i do actually have a red turtleneck but i decided to go with a just like a tee this is a crop tee it's not like a really high crop it's a nice like lower crop it's really nice it's got ruching on the side this red tee from zara i got it last year bringing it back to the outfit before i ramble on paired it with my pink um fake converse again because these will be getting their wear this spring and summer i don't actually have vans but i prefer pairing it with like high top anyways it's just more in line with my vibe my style and in terms of a hat i don't have any hair so you know that hat ain't gonna work for me so i did actually try out this um 
denim baker boy cap which you know baker boy caps are definitely my style i do have an ongoing collection of these i feel like it does it does look cute it gives that denim denim on denim vibe i don't necessarily need it with the look but i just added it just to see like just variety to just see how it looks to you know getting like an idea um and i also paired it with my aviator sunglasses these are the retro ones the orange tinted it also adds a bit of color since we're doing dopamine colorful these are from amazon I swear by these, I absolutely love them. I've worn them so many times. As for bag, I was gonna go with my red bag that I had in the previous um, outfit, but I decided to just go with the pink crossbody bag because it's just lightweight. So yeah, this is a really easy outfit to recreate. Um, very simple, easy to run errands in and just to go about your business to look cute. This is the final look. I normally do 10 different looks, but I think I've done about seven. Um, if you do want to see more looks, let me know. I'm sure that you're definitely going to love these videos here where I share tons of fashion inspiration and um, yeah, lots of other content that you love. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in these videos here. Bye.